So, the PlayStation Plus games have been officially unveiled, and the great news is, well, there's actually two pieces of great news. First up, the lineup is absolutely awesome, probably the best lineups that we have ever had. Definitely curious what you guys think, so make sure you leave a comment down below when we've got into it. And the second bit is there's an extra game. There's, and I don't even just mean like a, a little thing that you can play for free, I don't mean a VR game, I mean there's literally an extra AAA bonus title, which is absolutely crazy. Now, before we do get into the actual reveal, any of you guys that need to renew your PlayStation Plus membership, so if you're looking for PSN credit on the cheap, make sure you check out the sponsor, Instant Gaming. There's a link down below that will give you a little bit more of a discount as well, but everything on there is usually like 20 to 30% off, so it is definitely, definitely worth taking a look at. But let's get into it. First up, Ark Survival Evolved. This is the PS4 game. Ark is a game that I used to play a long time ago, and I stopped playing it because I kept getting eaten by level 1 piranhas. Yes, yeah, so when you start off, you're like a caveman. And I mean, literally, you look like a caveman. Everyone's a weird kind of shape on it, and it, it's just odd. However, you kind of progress, you get your levels. The more you, you level up, the more you can go through. So you'll start off having to build stuff like little straw huts. And using tools that are made out of little bits of rock and wood. And all the usual kind of gathering game kind of tools. However, then you can progress through it to the point where you get technology and all that sort of stuff to the point you can be running around with guns and all sorts of other weird contraptions. But I think the main thing about the game that you kind of have to mention is there's loads and loads of dinosaurs and you can tame those dinosaurs. Now, the base game itself is great. The maps on it are amazing. However, if you want to get the most out of it, there's also a season pass where you can get loads of new maps on it. But let's be honest, you can literally jump on one of the maps and play it forever if you wanted to. It is absolutely massive. You can play it solo or you can run like dedicated servers. Or you can play on official where you'll spawn in into a death trap. And then it'll just irritate the hell out of you. That's the first game that's coming though. Uh, the second one is Team Sonic Racing. Um, I played this game quite a while back. And it's not too bad I suppose. It depends on your style of racing game. For me personally, I prefer a simulator style rather than the cartoony kind of style. But this one, pretty much, you face off with your friends in multiplayer racing. You can race together across stunning worlds. Um, you can work together as a team by sharing power-ups and speed boosts and all that sort of stuff. I mean, when it comes to this style of racing game, I always go back to Mario Kart. Not too sure why, it's just kind of the classic. But if you're looking for something new, I suppose this one is going to go down well. Um, personally, I'm going to give it a go, but I don't think it's something that I'm going to be keeping. Just because, again, when it comes to racers, I do tend to go for the more realistic ones, rather than the cartoony battle-style ones. Now, that one, again, is a PS4 title. Um, next up, Ghost Runner. This is the PS5 one. Now, I've seen this game, and I've watched gameplay for it, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, you wield a blade and perform, like, parkour stuff, and just the way that the map kind of looks when you're running around the cities and stuff, it looks amazing. And obviously, playing it on PS5 with next-gen graphics and ray tracing, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it is a really fast-paced game, though, so I'm imagining something similar to, like, Mirror's Edge, which is kind of what it reminded me of a little bit when I saw little bits of gameplay for it. And you're running around slicing up your enemies and dodging bullets and doing all sorts of other cool stuff. Now, the one thing that I can say, obviously, when I say it's fast-paced, it's like a one-hit kill mechanic. So, as you can imagine, when you're doing parkour and running around, combat is so fast that it's literally one little tap, dead. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool to be honest out of all the games This is probably one that I'm most looking forward to playing and I'm sure for you, a lot of you guys It's gonna kind of be the same but the bonus title Yes, the bonus title a game that was rumored a while ago and a game that I haven't played even though It's supposed to be absolutely amazing and I'm gonna butcher the name of it. It's Ghost of Tsushima um, the Legends Edition. Now, this is for PS4 and PS5, so you don't need to worry too much about what console you've got. Um, but yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, standalone. It's a co-op multiplayer experience as well. When you play in, you can choose from four unique classes, Samurai, Hunter, uh, the Ronin, or the Assassin. And you run around pretty much fighting side-by-sides of Legends. Now, it is a kind of story-based game as well. The story missions that you can play with your friends. Again, it looks quite cool. It's just for whatever reason, when it first came out, I was never really interested in it. Not too sure why. Uh, it just wasn't something that I bothered picking up. However, the fact that it's coming to PlayStation Plus kind of just makes that a good thing because I don't have to buy it. I get it for free and I get to play it for you guys. 
But again, curious to see what you guys think out of the four games that are coming next week on Tuesday. Which one are you guys most looking forward to? Let me know down below. But that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.